the day. If you're watching this video, it's meant to guide you on how to use Google Classroom to access materials for each of your subjects, to complete tasks, homeworks or assignments, and also to do your quizzes and submit to your various teachers. Now, to actually access Google Classroom, I would advise you use the Chrome browser since it's a Google based app which would help you and facilitate navigation through your, cl your classroom. Now, I'm using Opera Mini because my main account is actually um, already logged onto my Chrome. So I'm using Opera just because I'm using a student's account um, for you to be able to view how to navigate through a student's page. Um, this video could also help or guide parents on how to assist um, younger kids on how to use Google Classroom. Now, to sign into your Google account, you would have to access um, accounts.google.com. So that should be um, what you search for on your browser. And when you get into this page, you just simply have to enter your school's Google account. So I'm using a student's account for you to be able to to see how a student's classroom would look like. Then next you have to enter the password. So the account belongs to Salman. Now once you log in, you would actually um, see the different subjects which you are are registered to or you've been invited to. So these are Salman's different uh, subjects. You have Arabic, Social Studies, English Language, Business, Math, Chemistry, and there you go, Biology. So you can actually identify the subjects and the teachers of the subjects. So from your classroom page, you can actually identify um, the subjects with upcoming assignments or tasks which you have to complete. So like for example, looking at the classroom for Arabic, there is no upcoming tasks. Same for social studies. But if you look keenly, that of biology actually has um, two tasks. One is due tomorrow and another due for today. Now this is a quiz that I just made as a sample to actually guide you on how to answer quiz questions or, or quiz tasks on Google Classroom. So I'm going to do another video on quizzing. Now for this video, I'm simply going to help you navigate through materials and completing assignments on Classroom. Say for example, you have to access information from your biology class. So simply you just have to click on biology access the biology classroom now in the biology classroom you actually have three pages so you have a stream which acts as the news page for the classroom the classwork page where you see all materials posted and assignments and the people's page where you can meet other mates in your class. You can share information with them. You can ask for support from them. And, and so on and so forth. So, I'll begin with the stream page. On the stream page, you do see the recent posts from your teacher. Okay, You could always place comments. You could always ask questions. And he would respond to you directly. Now your comments could be channeled directly to your teacher or 
to the entire class on the stream. Now from the stream, you would see the latest post which came in today at 7.26 a.m. and is due at 6 p.m. So we're going to see this in our next video. Now, all the things you have to do with the classroom is actually accessing through classwork the different materials that are classified per topic. So if you look at this classroom, we have various topics like unit 9.1, 9.2, unit 9.3. So should in case you have to access information in unit 9.3, you have to scroll down to unit 9.3. And on unit 9.3, you could actually access a PowerPoint presentation for this unit. You simply have to click and you can view the PowerPoints. Now you could navigate through the PowerPoints just by scrolling down. You could access all assessments or activities which were done in the course of the presentation or class lessons while you're studying. So after viewing the PowerPoints, you could get back into your classroom by simply clicking the back button or the close button. Also, other resources that could be shared with you are videos. You could have video recordings from your lessons or maybe YouTube links or videos from YouTube to actually help um, enrich the content of materials you had from the classroom. So, for example, there is a video. So this takes all the time that I had on you. And after watching the video, you can simply click the return button to get back into your classroom. Now, you could also have assignments like you see on unit 5.1, there is an assignment which you have to complete in your classroom. To access your assignments, simply you have to click on the assignment. This assignment was prepared on Google Docs, so you have to submit the assignment on Google Docs. There is no need for printing this assignment or need to fill out the assignment by writing, scanning and resending to your teacher. Simply you have to fill in the document on Google Docs and you submit to respective teachers so simply you open up the assignment once the assignment is opened up you can edit the assignment so say for example question one is a multiple choice question which had you have to choose one of the four options between a b c and d simply what you have to do in this case is to highlight the right answer and as you've seen someone has highlighted B as the answer to do this you just simply have to click you highlight the answer and you choose highlight you choose the color okay should in case I should do it now in another color so you can see change and there it goes now the second question is actually a structured question that needs short answers now, spaces are always provided to actually encode your answers. So Salman has actually answered this question, but has not yet answered the second question. Now, the second question is outline the evidence for evolution provided by fossils. So simply, if I have to enter the answer to this question, I'm going to click in this line, which was provided for responses, and I type in my answers. Fossils are that remains of pre-existing organisms. So you can always get the right suggestions, okay? Uh, when that, when that, once that is done, say for example I've completed my assignment, I would have to turn it in. At the end of my assignment, after answering all questions, I will have to turn in the assignment so my teacher can review.